Hello everyone, this is Coach Michelle. Hope you're having an amazing day. This is video number four dropping today. And this video, guys, this video is about how long are you up in them people house? <laughs> how long are you up in them people house? Guys, when you go out for your initial visit, when you go out for your initial visit, you should not be in the home more than an hour. I'm, I'm sorry, you should not be. The way it works is that once you do that phone consultation, that initial phone call where you're talking about your services and you're talking about what their needs are and you're getting all the information you need and then it transitions into, um, it seems like it's a good fit and then it transitions into an in-home visit. When you are going out to that in-home visit, you are going there to meet them face-to-face, -face, um, meet the potential client confirm everything they told you on the phone, solidify the hours and the days um, that services are needed, walk through the home. You want to know where everything is so you can articulate that to the caregiver. You want to share the information with your registered nurse if it's required that a nurse goes out in your area. And you want to sign all the paperwork. You want to get your deposit if you collect a deposit or whatever your intake um, process looks like. You want to get that done. Guys, it should not take more than an hour. Get out. Get out. What happens is that if you are there, the same client I was talking about on the third video was in the client's home initially for four hours. That's a red flag right there. What are you talking about for four hours? It has transitioned into stuff that ain't got nothing to do with home care. I'm sorry, guys. I ain't never been in nobody's home for four hours. And if somebody is asking you so much information after having a phone call with them, and they're asking you so much information that takes four hours, that means that they are either not going to sign up and trying to figure out all they can because they're trying to start a home care agency. Two is that they don't trust you. Three, there's some messiness going on because the family may be dysfunctional and got their own issues going on. And four, baby, you done crossed over and now you are no longer functioning as a business. You functioning as baby, girlfriend, girl around the block, home girl. You done transitioned over. You done transitioned over. So keep it professional at all times, like I said in the last visit, but time yourself, practice. What 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 is it? Create a system. Okay, I go in, I greet, we sit down, we talk about this. Put together that process so you know exactly when we, I'm a transit, just like running a race. I'm gonna pass that baton, we run in a relay. What, okay, we're gonna talk about this, we're gonna talk about this, we're gonna talk about this, and you need to control the conversation. Don't have them, oh, you know, I had another agency. Well, you know, well, hold on, let me take this call. And now you sitting there and they're on the call for 30 minutes. And then they said, well, you know what? Well, what you think, girl? I like those shoes. Just changing the subject, getting into everything. Or, well, tell me about your policies. Tell me about, if it doesn't have anything with why you're there, guys, you got to get back, pull them back in, reel them back in, get back on track and focus and get out of there. Four hours is four hours too long. Well, no, that's not true. Four hours is three hours too long because it should not take more than an hour. And even if you're a registered nurse and you say, well, I'm the owner and a registered nurse, so I'm doing my comprehensive ass uh, assessment as soon as I finish that, then I could see maybe, you know, hour, hour and a half, depending on, you know, of course the client needs, but hey, we're non-skilled, so it shouldn't be that complex. Um, so you should be able to get out, I would say no more than an hour, hour and a half. And then the other thing with experienced nurses, guess what? You already got a lot of the information in your head or written down on your notes from the phone call. So you're not going over in, in detail, everything you re you're reiterating a lot of information cause you already got it. You know what I mean? So then you're just asking, okay, what about this? Or you may be, you know, what medications are you, um, currently on? You know, something like this. Or I know you mentioned you're a diabetic. Are you currently taking any medication? But guess what? If you are a nurse, you probably got that over the phone as well. So why not get as, as much information over the phone that you can? Or how about having them give you a medication list? So when you're talking to them on the phone, you say, when I come out, if you could please have a copy of your med medication, that would help me out tremendously. So I can put that in your folder. So you see what I'm saying? So you are able to get 
information during that initial phone call that will save you time when you're in the home. If you're not a nurse doing an assessment and you're not in a regulate and, and you're in a um, non-regulated state, in and out should not be more than an hour. Something has changed. <laughs> Something has changed. You have switched from business owner to Pookie from around the block. I'm just keeping it real. So guys, another quick video dropping nuggets real 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 fast and i know i've gotten some feedback from a few of you most of you love these little short videos so let me know many of you love 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 these short videos but some of my old heads some of my ride and die that been with me for a couple of years they like coach i like when you talk to me but guess what if you like when i talk to you get on facebook because i be talking too much on facebook so get over to facebook i am coach michelle with one l and your girl will talk to you talk to you talk to you and we do testimony Tuesdays every other Tuesday. I think we're going to do Testimonial Tuesday today. So definitely go to Facebook, check out everything that I have going on, like the video, click the bell to turn on the notifications, and definitely subscribe. Y'all take care. God bless, and I will see you on the next video.